Oh, hi everybody and welcome to my channel today i'm working on the new fire stick 4k max second generation and i'm going to show you the ambient experience so stay tuned we'll take a look set it up it's time for streaming so hi everybody and thanks for tuning in so today i'm on the fire stick 4k max second generation and we're going to take a look at the ambient experience that they say is really good and i have tested it out and it is really nice i enjoy it even though some things don't work on the fire stick and we're waiting for it to get fixed hopefully with the third party apps not showing any icons well this ambient experience is working really good so on your remote you go ahead and you press the the blue button the alexa button just press it real fast go down to the bottom where it says ambient experience go ahead and give it a click wait for it to load up now on the remote that you have with the three line button go ahead and give it a click say change background so now you can go ahead and explore the art you have still motion dynamic just click on ok let it all up and we're going to come into different areas of art and photo collections so as you see you have featured art and photo collections and you have so much more that's in here landscape motion sensual motion let's go ahead let's just go on this one and click on it what happens is you have one here and it says seven different scenes and it's videos let's go ahead and give it a click so change collection or keep the previous. So the one where I just opened it up, I'm going to say change it because I want this one here with the fireplace. Let's go ahead and say change collection. So after you go ahead and you say change it, what you do is you hit the back button a couple of times and then here you have the scenes that come up and it's a video, it's in motion. Looks really great. You also have widgets that are in here. Right now I have my uh, date that I have, I have the weather, and of course you have what's gonna be coming up on the fire stick. Let's go ahead now and click on that three line button again and say about this background. Let's go ahead and click on it. And it says what it is, snow flurries by the river 2002. Go ahead and click on that three line button again. You could go ahead if you want, you could change it, but no, I don't wanna change it. So I wanna go down and add widgets. Let's go ahead and let's change some widgets now. So the widgets pop up and now of course you have where you have the weather, you have a calendar, you have some sticky notes. Okay, now what should I do? What should I eat? Your deliveries that are coming up, smart home, which is good if you have a lot of smart home devices and all, music and audio, live TV. So let's go down, I'm gonna say, okay, I want some sticky notes, I'm going to choose that. So here it is, it says it has been added. Now, if you want to remove it, all you got to do is press the three line button on your remote. You come back in and you go ahead and you can remove it. So after you went ahead and you edit the widget that you want, just go ahead and click that back button. Brings you over here to where your screensaver is. You can click down on your remote, it'll hide it. Click up, click up one more time, and it'll show you the new one that we just did. We did the sticky note. You go over to the right, you highlight, you click on it. What you can do then is go ahead and add a text if you want. Click that back button. Click that back button again. Let's go ahead now and click on that three line button again. Let's go to ambient preferences. Let's go ahead and give it a click. Now the widget size, you could go ahead and do small or large. Large is nice, not too bad at all. You go down to the next one where it says widgets at start. Go ahead and click on it. You could do show. Show it and hide or hide. I like it right now on show. So I'm going to leave it on show. Now also you could go ahead and put a border around your widgets. Click on it, you can say none. Click on it, you get black border going around. Get navy or it comes in gray. Almost looks like, let's say like a, a picture frame type thing. Looks really nice. Okay, right now I'm gonna say none. Go ahead and click that back button again. Background image is on. You could go ahead and toggle it off if you want. I like it on. Background rotation speed. That lets you know when you want to go ahead 
and bring in that next video. Remember, we had seven different videos in that one category that we clicked on. So you could go ahead, click on it. You have one minute, five minutes, 10, 30, two hours, six hours, one day, or no change at all. I'll leave it on five minutes. That's fine by me. Go ahead and hit that back button again. Let's go down. Background shuffle on or off. Shuffle the order of your background images. Right now I have it as off. Let it do its own shuffling. That's fine. The clock, top left hand corner, as you see, the clock is there. It's pretty good. I like that feature. You can leave it on, turn it off. Same thing with the weather. Turn it on, or you could go ahead and turn it off. Then, of course, you have your advanced settings. Idle timeout. So everything I leave pretty much alone here, and everything looks pretty good. So now you can see I chose the large widgets. They look okay, just a little bit too large for me. I'm going to go ahead and click on that three line. Let's go down to where it says ambient preferences. I'm going to go down to widget size. I'm going to choose small again. Click on that back button, and here they are. They're really small again, which is good. I like it that way. I'm going to leave it that way. Click on that home button. I hope you find this video very helpful and entertaining for you. I hope it helps you out a lot. Please remember to click on that like and subscribe button and ring that bell. I really do appreciate when you do it. Let you know when I put up some more videos. Always enjoy your comments. I try to answer as many as I can. And remember, day or night, it's time for streaming.